Greetings Monsterites and Explorers of the channel. Today I'm going to be working on a old Reaper's miniature. Actually it's from 1999 from what I discovered when I did a search for it online because I did not remember that. I got it back in the day and to my surprise it still is for sale by Reaper. It is a good old metal mini and what the challenge for me today is to give it some kind of story. Now I discovered that this miniature was named Black Orc Warrior and also Barbarian Vampire Orc at the bottom as a, a keyword, I believe. So I was thinking, what could I do with that? So I didn't quite go with the black portion of it. I still kept it more or less of a green orc, but I wanted to give it some story of that evilness and vampire side of it. So my goal in representing that was to give it a kind of fiery lighting just from the very bottom. So say the orc standing on a boulder or on a hill and there's villagers with torchlights below him. So that sort of warm fiery lighting heading upward and ending at about his mid torso or actually lower than that. And then from behind pushing a just a strong, a really strong red light, symbolizing evilness and possibly the vampire side of this orc. So a strong red light from the back, fiery from the bottom front, and then from above give it sort of a glow, a moonlight glow, which may head more towards the bluish route, but I think that'll be a nice contrast with the warm colors that are otherwise surrounding the orc, more or less.
Now, as you can see, there is a nice armor piece on the orc's shoulder and the axe and sword. So there's going to be a bit of craziness of non-metal metal. So let's go forth. As you can see, I'm not going by area by area finishing to completion. I'm sort of getting to a point of satisfaction and then going somewhere else, working on something and going back and forth, more or less. And with quite the many hours put forth into this vampiric orc, I am done. Done at least to that point that any artist deems themselves being done with an artwork. Because this guy did take a while, the complexity of the different light sources and then what he has going on in and of itself as a character really pushed this paint job up a notch. So without further ado, let's jump into that monstrous reveal. Thank you to everyone who participated and voted for this group of miniatures and this particular miniature to be painted up next. <laughs> 